Well, I gotta say, I've had this for about two weeks now. And I would say we probably never used the front door as much as we ever have. Still working pretty good. Let's see. There it is. What's up, YouTube? Well, I was in the market for a uh, smart lock for my front door. Um, so I was actually having trouble finding a color that would match. So I actually just ended up going with this one. I hope it looks okay. But uh, I just figured I'd do a quick unboxing and um, see what comes in this package. And then uh, I'm gonna install it and then give my thoughts about it. So this is obviously the first time me opening it, but it just comes with, looks like some instructions. And then looks like the unit right here. It's actually, um, it's pretty heavy. It feels pretty substantial. So there's that piece. And then it looks like you got the, this is like the adapter, Wi-Fi adapter. I believe it's like Bluetooth. And it uses this to connect to uh, the internet, I believe. And then let's see, it comes with some screws, a little adapter piece for the door, some more screws. I'm not sure what all this stuff is for, but I'll figure it out. Um, looks like it comes with a little screwdriver. And uh, it's got some kind of like security bit or something right there. And then a Phillips. And then looks like, oh, here's the, the cylinder for the door. You can see it's called Ultra Lock. If you can see that, but. And then let's see here. It's got a couple of plates here. Well, actually, it's just one plate. It's just got a little plastic holder. And then it looks like some batteries for the unit. And the batteries, I believe, will go in this part right here. But um, anyways, that's it for the box. Let's, uh, I'm going to try not to make this video too long. But anyway, so here's the back of it. And supposedly you can unlock this with, like, Alexa. You could do it with, um, you know, your phone. You could do it with the keypad right here it also has a fingerprint sensor but i'll go i'll uh try to sum all that up real quick actually it says right here so smartphone fingerprint code and a key so let me get this thing installed and uh we'll go from there okay i'm gonna be installing it on this door the lighting's not the best here but so it should just be these two screws and then these two screws here and it should come off now this is kind of like an odd shaped so hopefully it covers most of the outline but we'll see okay real quick just to explain the installation you really you literally just have to and the lighting sucks install this piece put these two screws in and then you basically line this up and unfortunately you can see the paint and it's a little bit at the bottom but of course you got my dog scratches and everything else on here but um, so I'm gonna have to touch all this up, but so I just lined it up and then there's a back plate right here That goes on and then there's literally just these two screws Right there and then but you just tighten those up now you just put on the back piece. So let's get that on All right, well, I got that back piece in so basically you just line this up with that metal piece and then there's two small machine screws and they're pretty stout like you tighten these up, they, it feels very sturdy. So, I mean, pretty simple. And you can see the mechanism manually. 
locks and unlocks. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Kind of sucks about that. I could even put a little plastic piece or something around here, but that's kind of annoying. But it is what it is. But uh, I mean, that probably took all of what, five minutes to install. And I'm pretty sure that's the hardware. So let's get it hooked up. Okay, so the, I downloaded the app. And FYI, if you download the app and use the QR code on here, it actually takes you to um, like their website. And then you got to click unknown sources or whatever. But if you don't want to do that, you can go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and just type in UTech. And uh, then you, it tells you in the instructions. And you can just download it from the Play Store. But uh, And then it says right here. Before you, uh, when you're installing this, I guess, I haven't done it yet, it says to keep in the lock position, which I did, and then it says, then it says to insert the battery, it says it's very important. So, let's put the last battery in. Okay, and then it says put the battery cover on. So let's get that on there. Okay, so then let's go back to the app. And then let's see here. Okay, well, let me get this part done and then we'll go from there. Okay, then it looks like it's scanned for it. I'm guessing this is it. So I'm going to click on that. Actually, I'm going to click that. If you are now connecting to the new Ultra Lock in factory default settings, there is no admin code. Admin code must be created first before any programming can be entered. Any four to eight digit code in the screen and it will be set as admin code automatically. Okay, so okay, now it's saying take a picture of, take a picture for your lock. Okay, so it's gonna be the front door. So I guess I just take a picture of the front door. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, well basically I just hit next and then it came to the screen and I hit the, it was locked, I hit the unlock and it unlocked. So let's, it says it's unlocked right now. So let's lock it. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it just locked. So let's go over here. Well, it's pretty dark, but so let me see how quick it is. Wow, that's pretty fast. That's like ridiculously fast, but it uses, uh, I believe, Bluetooth. So basically, that's um, that's the hardware installation. I mean, you know, pretty simple. I mean, it works with my old, you know, the little striker deal right here. So I didn't have to change that out. But um, I think I have to do a couple more things to connect to the internet. But, oh, shoot, it just locked. I think I just locked myself out. I sure did. <laughs> and my other phone's inside. Uh, let me see if the code works. Well, that the code does work. So, I'm back in. I guess that's what it means when it's talking about admin code. So, it must be set to auto lock right now or something. I'm not sure. Maybe after a certain amount of time. But anyways, I mean, that's the installation. You want to talk about super easy to be set up so <laughs> yep see it just auto lock so it must be set to like some kind of auto lock from like 30 seconds or something so let me see how to hook up the rest of this to the wi-fi all right so i figured out how to add a fingerprint you basically just go to the app you just click basically right here i already did one fingerprint so i'm going to click here to add another one just tells you to make sure it's clean your fingers clean you hit this and then you just Basically, put your finger. You see, it just keeps telling you to lift your finger, move it around, 
And that's it. So it's, uh, well, it's actually locked, so let's see if it works. There it goes. See, so let me relock it. And I put my thumb on there. I don't want to be in the way, but boom, there it is. So that's how easy it is to do the uh, fingerprint unlock. All right, everybody. Well, I'm just going to give a real quick summary of the app. As you can see, this is actually, I took a picture of my front door right here. And uh, to make things simple, I mean, if you wanted to add a, um, a person, you just click right here where the two little people are. And you can see I have myself and my, my kids in there, my wife. And, um, you know, so let's go through and let's just add a temporary user. So you hit the plus up at the top. You can put, uh, put their name. Oops, right here. So we'll just put, uh, let's just put it since it's already populating that. All right, so then we're going to hit, let me lower the keyboard. We'll hit next. And then right here where it says, I just skip because it's easier. I was getting a little bit of a glitch, so I just skipped through that. And then basically it says success. So if you want to add a fingerprint, you would just hit the plus. And you would go through with the fingerprint, but if you wanted to add a password, you would just hit the plus. And you would basically just put code, and you could just put one, two, three, four. And then hit add code. And boom, that's it. So now Ed on here, it has a code. You can see the right here, the little uh, mark right here. Oops. Oh, let's go back here. So then there is Ed right there. So you can click on him and you can see what he has access to. You could delete him. So see right now, I'll just hit delete. And then he's gone. And that's it. So just as uh, real quick of the of the app. Um, you know what? I've, I've actually had a really good experience with this, uh, this lock. And uh, so I was in the market for, for one and I'm totally happy with this one. So hopefully this video will help somebody out, maybe making a decision. Maybe they'll end up going with this one or maybe not. But uh, like I said, hopefully this helps somebody out. Anyways, signing off. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Peace.